Mabuhay everyone, Marches here. Welcome to the channel and for today's video, we'll be comparing the 8083 Ultra from its little brother, which is the 8083. So let's go. Guys, you know what this is. This is the 8083 from the family of the 808. If you have been following the Way of Wade line, you know that the 808 line was really a success or is really a success. If you've been a follower of Wade of Wade, you know how successful the line of the 808 series is. And this is nothing different. So if you watch my performance review on the Ultras, uh, I didn't have a performance review on the regular ones, but in this video, it will be somehow a performance review of the regular 8083 because I'll be comparing it with the Big Brother Ultra. So let's start off first with one of the main difference between the two sneakers is of course the upper of the Ultras and the regular ones are kind of different or it's one of the main things or main parts of the sneaker that is really different. Aside from the cushion of course, the upper is one of the things that you will notice when you have these two sneakers so on the regular ones you have this mesh type a regular mesh upper that goes from the forefoot to the side and even though this is just a regular mesh um, right off the box it feels very comfortable around your foot no break in time needed while on the ultras it has this like fused net upper so it's also very thin but not as thick on the regular ones but one thing that really is nice about the ones in the ultras is the, it is fused so even though it's really thin it is really strong it gives a bit more support especially laterally and more durability around the toe area you could feel it right off the touch when you're touching the material of the ultras you feel the weaves are tightly woven and there's more strands to it compared to the regular ones the regular ones has this like just a pattern square pattern but while in the ultras it has more interlacing wires that goes or cross each other so that makes it more durable and more supportive as an upper so if you want a more supportive upper uh, maybe if your play style is your shifty guard that is really shifts with a ton of power you would like the ultras a bit more but if you're more on a more suave or more graceful shiftiness type of player the regular ones will do the lacing system is another difference between the two you can see on the regular ones regular lace loops lace holes while on the ultras you can see that there's wires it comes through on the entire lacing system and some had this concern that this might pull so for me when i was really tightening this up i was really trying to crank it up really tightly so i didn't feel or i didn't see any tearing of the wire so i believe that they reinforce the wires of this but i'll let you know if this one tears up eventually when i play with them more but right now so far so good so both lacing system are very easy to adjust to the fit that you like the tongue are relatively similar just different material but the padding are pretty the same the thickness is the same but the padding on the heel is a lot thicker on the ultra by just a little bit and there's some extra little details this pink pads here that that kind of give you a little bit of roughness so that it will prevent the hill so that it will prevent hill slippage but so far even though I don't think that it will really matter because even without that I think there's no hill slippage on both I believe in the twos or yeah 808 twos or 8081 I forgot which one there was a little bit of hill slippage and they kind of fix it here on the 8083 so both have very nice heel lockdown they actually i think they raised up the heel part a bit so that it will catch your foot a bit more and it is concave inside your foot or heel is 
really sucked in inside this heel part. So no heel slippage on both sneakers, even though these two have a really low cut pattern on the ankle. Now let's move on to the major difference between these two, which is the cushion part. Of course, it's a drop in midsole, insole for the two, but on the regular ones, they kind of improve it a bit more because on the 808 2, they just use an entire full slab of cloud foam, but, but on the 808 3, they change it up a bit. It's a cloud foam carrier, but they put a boom cushion, the forefoot, which I really, really like. For the regular ones, I mean, this is a good setup. Plus they added a stability plate in the middle because that's one of the complaints on the previous or not complaints, but something that they could improve on the 808. So they added that here on the regular ones. And on the Ultras, they have this full length boom cushion, which you know is really, really nice, ultra bouncy, even though this is kind of a thin slab of boom. And you can see there's a plastic piece here for extra spring back and help the boom expand and activate more. So this really helps out and it gives extra stability to the boom cushion because they made a hole here so it will compress a bit more to give you an extra bit more impact protection. But one thing that I observe is that on the regular ones, in the forefoot, it's a bit thicker compared to the drop-in of the Ultras. So because this has an extra boom plus cloud foam on top, it's just a tiny bit thicker compared to the forefoot part of the Ultra ones. And even on the heel, this is a little bit thicker. And in terms of feel, you would feel that, of course, the boom will give you that maximum springiness, even though this is a really thin slab of full length boom. And you can really, if you're not used to it, you'll be surprised on how low to the ground you are. But when you jump with this, you would feel it, you would feel the springiness and the bounciness. Of course, it's not too extreme, but for a very low profile full length boom, it's really springy. I just wish that they kind of thickened it up a bit more to maximize that mass energy of the boom because if it's a little bit thicker, so there's more energy return when you put down your weight, especially me, I'm not the lightest one. So if you step into this, if it's a little bit thicker, I think there would be more energy return to the full length boom of the Ultras. While on the regular ones, I would say for everyday use, I, to be honest, I, I would lean on this a bit more because it has a very nice bounciness in the forefoot and the thickness of the midsole is right up my alley. So it really depends. It's a preference for me. I like a bit more cushion, but some of you, I know some of my friends really like it low to the ground. That's why I kept on buying the Ultras because it's kind of closer to the ground. He likes it a bit more compared to me because he's a smaller player. He's a point guard, shifty point guard. So he likes the setup of the Ultras a bit more, but for me, I like a bit more cushion. As for the outsole of these two sneakers, both are relatively the same, just different um, treatment around this, the ball of your foot. This one has this, like the Way of Way logo with the herringbone pattern around the ball of your foot, while this one has a wavy pattern. But in terms of grippiness, traction, I would say they're pretty much the same. It's very tacky, it has a good squeak on it. And another thing that they added between these two is, of course, on the regular ones, it has just this plastic piece that you can see on the previous models and you can really twist this a lot. While on the Ultras, even though if I remove the full length boom, it still has a bit more torsional support because they added a carbon fiber around the midfoot part of the outsole, which I think is a little bit more useful, especially if you don't want or if you want some more support around the mid part of your foot. So you would like this a bit more. And when you're pressing around the heel, you could feel that the heel cup 
of the Ultras is a little bit more sturdier compared to the regular ones even though the regular ones are okay but you would feel it when you're squeezing it this doesn't get squeezed a lot because I think there's yeah there's carbon fiber here too on the lateral part but on the back part it has a thicker plastic piece so I just wish that they put the carbon fiber again here at the back part to lessen the weight and speaking of weight uh, these two are US 10 and a half and it fits me well because it's really the 808 line runs a bit long so I fit perfectly on 10.5 uh, because I have the 808 2 in 11 and it was okay I can still play with it but the fit of the 10.5 for me is better so half size down if you're a regular foot like me and if you're a wide foot go true to size so the weight of the ultras is 441 while on the um, regular ones it's weighed in it's 430 so 10 grams heavier on the ultras because i think because of the weave it, it has more strands and the plastic piece at the heel is a little bit thicker compared to the regular ones plus when you're holding the two foams you could feel i think they're pretty much the same so i think the main difference is coming from the upper material of these two sneakers so guys that's my comparison video between the regular ones and the ultra version so let me know which you would prefer a bit more hit me a comment down below so this has been mark just once again and if you want to cop this pair i'll be putting the link down below in the description box so thank you again for driving by catch you in the next one cheers